Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, October 23rd, 2023. Let's get into it. So the funniest part uh, that I found strange was the video that I put up yesterday. Uh, YouTube came back. Uh, I, boy, I tell you, the, usually the amount of processing time on a video takes, I don't know, maybe a half an hour or whatever. I actually had to go to bed <laughs> and wake up in the morning to come back to see that the video was approved. And then, of course, later they said that it's only 18 and above, which is fine. I mean, they, they said that there was some content. Uh, I guess when you're committing genocide in uh, Gaza, uh, that doesn't go over well <laughs> with, with the watchers on YouTube. But uh, you can watch it on The Burn, The Burn on Rumble. So, um, you know, I, I just wanted to um, talk about Ukraine and uh, and also uh, Israel for just just a few minutes here. Uh, so this is from Megatron on YouTube. And, and this was one of the things I was warning you about is that uh, Israel has overreacted to the attack. Uh, it was a horrific attack. And by the way, that's another thing I'm a bit worried about is there might be some Hamas terrorists uh, or likely there are Hamas terrorists here in the United States. And so we're going to see similar crimes. So, uh, you know, everybody says, oh, you're a Palestinian Hamas supporter, you know, just because you don't want genocide in, in, in the Gaza. Yeah, okay, well, I guess if that's what you want to believe. But anyway, um, definitely be on the alert if you have any, well, I mean, I guess who are you going to report it to? A corrupt FBI? <laughs> A Department of Justice that doesn't care about justice? I don't know, man. I guess just report it to your state officials if you see any sort of uh, potential terrorist activity from Hamas here in the United States. But anyway, let's read this one, uh, because this directly addresses uh, what I was talking about with the overreaction. In 24 hours, Israel attacked as many as four Arab countries today, Egypt, Palestine, Lebanon, and Syria. The total population of the countries attacked by Israel over the past 24 hours is more than 135 million people. Israel's population is just under 10 million. So that's why uh, one of the things that I warned you about is they're committing suicide, just like the United States is. And I didn't really bring it out in yesterday's video. Uh, you, can, you can see how Russia, China, uh, the BRICS nations, they're all lining up against the United States. And the way they're doing it is pretty strategic. And so what they did uh, to try to put an end to the conflict uh, that's taking place in, uh, uh, you know, in Palestine between them and Israel was they put forward a, a, uh, a peace proposal whereby, you know, it's a two-state solution and Russia put it forward first. This is how diplomacy works. And of course, you know, the United States, uh, France, Great Britain, and I think it was Spain voted it down. So then, uh, because it didn't contain any words condemning Hamas, and they certainly need to be condemned. So then they, uh, Brazil came back, a, a pretty neutral nation, almost, well, used to be kind of a, a U.S. ally, not anymore. But so they put together a peace proposal, and that went up to the U.N. Security Council, and everybody voted for it. Britain, France, Spain. I mean, you, you think about it. The only nation that voted against it was the United States. So we're turning, they're successfully turning the whole world against the United States and Israel. And that's why I read off that, that quote from Megatron about how Israel is pissing everybody off in the Middle East. And, and in my video yesterday, which you can't watch on YouTube, but it's on, it's on X, and I put it up on The Burn, The Burn on Rumble, so definitely check that out. So let's get into uh, just a couple of replies because that always gets gets my my stuff going. Um, let me go. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, the uh, <laughs> wouldn't you want a cyber truck? I definitely want one, but I, I, I'm sure I probably will not be able to afford it. Uh, so and and this was something that uh, well, this is I don't know who this Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, press person is uh, she says i don't care who we elect as speaker as long as they know two things close the border 
released the January 6 tapes, and I said, well, the January 6 tapes, don't, <laughs> they don't exist no more. It wasn't it amazing how that uh, Rashida Tlaib and, and those guys could just uh, invade Capitol Hill? We've got people still locked away in the gulag in Washington, D.C. for January 6, and yet these people, um, they won't even, uh, you know, the, the two-tier system, is it's so in your face now. It's just unbelievable. My God. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Liz Cheney, she was out in the news. I said, well, who the hell is Liz Cheney? <laughs> is it, are you going to listen to anything Liz Cheney has to say? I don't know. So I, I can't edit this video. I just wanted to throw up something real quick. And so let me get into my train of thought, because I wanted to compare and contrast the war in Ukraine uh, versus the war in, in Israel. All right. One of the things that Russia did, they called it a special military operation. And so they went in with a limited number of forces. They were trying to force a peace agreement. They almost had it. Boris Johnson and NATO came in, nuked the whole thing. And then, of course, we entered into, what, a war of, of a year and a half. Now, Russia has had, well, certainly now, I mean, beyond belief, but probably six months ago, Russia could have gone in and just, just annihilated Ukraine. They could have just wiped them out. They got those uh, Kinsaw missiles. They got everything. I mean, they can hit any target they want in Ukraine. They could be taking down apartment buildings. They could be just destroying the hell out of Ukraine. But what they didn't want to do was they didn't want to piss off the whole world against Russia because they want to do business. They want to do business with the other nations of the world. And so they've just been kind of doing this measured response now. What does that cost them? It's cost them probably a lot of soldiers, unfortunately. Now, one of the things Russia has done is they've done the best they could, from what I can tell, arming them and giving them everything they need, but they've also handcuffed them. They're not allowed to kill uh, Ukrainian uh, prisoners of war, which you probably don't hear about on the news. Uh, they're not allowed to... to, to uh, go in and massacre civilians. Otherwise, you'd be hearing about it on the news. Have you heard anything? And in fact, every time the, the, the reports come out that they took down an apartment building or they uh, launched a missile into Poland, it all comes out in the news that it was a false information. And if you follow everything, so Russia has been conducting this thing just one step at a time, fighting the Ukraine military. That's all they've limited the conflict to. Well, what's happened in Israel? It's complete opposite. Okay, Hamas came in, committed a horrible act, and then Israel turned around and they want to commit genocide. And that was my video yesterday, which uh, you can watch on X, uh, where I was showing you, I mean, they're taking down apartment buildings. They're blowing up. And Okay, let's talk about the hospital for just two seconds, because I talked about this yesterday. In fact, I put a video up from uh, RT, about the hospital, all right? It doesn't matter what you believe in the United States. If you think that Hamas took out the hospital or you think that the, a bomb landed in the parking lot, it doesn't matter. The rest of the world, the Arab world, believes just the opposite, okay? And so what we needed was an independent commission to go in and make sure that the Arab world, and that's who you'd have to satisfy at this point, it doesn't matter what we think, here in the United States, we're on the other side of the world, okay? It mattered what the Arab world thinks took place, all right? So you had to have an independent commission go in and determine that either nothing happened or uh, the uh, Hamas blew up the hospital or, uh, of course, I guess the, the result that, that didn't want to be revealed was that Israel blew up the hospital, which is what the whole Arab world believes, Okay? Well, guess who shot it down? The United States said, oh, hell no. We're not sending in any sort of independent commission to, to find out about that. Well, what pattern does this seem to represent to you? The Nord Stream pipeline. There was, Russia put forward, you know, Russia plays politics very well. They said, well, let's, let's go in and have an independent commission investigate the destruction of the Nord Stream pipeline. The United States said, oh, hell no, we don't want an independent commission going in. So what does the whole world believe? They believe that the United States blew up the pipeline. And in the video yesterday, what RT was pointing out is every time that the United States 
kind of knows or possibly knows for sure that something took place, they're all for an independent commission. Yeah, by all means, let's send in a UN force to figure out what goes on. But every time the United States or Israel commits a war crime, oh no, no, we can't have an investigation. The whole world's caught on to this, this tactic. And I'm telling you, this, this is going to get bad. It's going to get bad. And, uh, you know, I'm watching uh, various channels. I mean, we are, we are heading for a world of hurt here in the United States. I mean, we got economic catastrophe looming on the horizon. And here, you know, Biden comes out with that crazy-ass speech. I mean, of course, he was reading from, from cards, cue cards or whatever, I, whoever wrote the speech for him. And we're going to send, you know, $100 billion. We need $60 billion for Ukraine. We need this. We need that. It ain't going to matter. They need weapons. We don't have the weapons no more. Israel's dropping upwards of, well, they, they, I heard a figure the other day, which was astronomical, 7,000 bombs on Gaza. I mean, they are committing genocide beyond belief. Anyway, I guess that's that's kind of the point of the whole video. I, I don't want to get into, I, I don't want to get into an editing process. I don't have any uh, clips from, from news sources or anything like that for this video. I just wanted to talk about things because you can see the different approach. Russia took a very measured approach to dealing with Ukraine. They're still in the process of doing it. Uh, they're working a war of attrition. They've already defeated two Ukrainian armies. They're on their third. Um, you're seeing all the graves coming back to uh, Kiev. Uh, and the grave fields have hundreds of thousands of, of waving flags over top of them. If you try to show that, it gets kind of cut down. Israel, on the other hand, is going scorched earth and now bombing these countries. Crazy. That's it. Peace out. Stay free. I'm done with this video. Good dog.